how do you defend this team? Can Brooke Lopez be on the floor? Is there a matchup that you could put in where Brooke, can you do something that makes Brooke Lopez more effective? Offensively, can you keep up? So, and so I guess that's my, my first question here. Are the Bucs going to have to keep up with Indiana offensively, or are they going to be able to bring Indiana down defensively to, you know, somewhere in the 110s to get this series winnable? Is this going to be a half-court, slow, hey, we're going to slow this down and try to dictate pace, or are the Bucs going to have to try to literally outscore Indiana? We've seen them be able to do that early, but we haven't seen those high scoring volume of games since early in the season. It just hasn't come from the Bucs. I, I, I'm – I, 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 yeah, I, I leave it to you guys. Let me know, like, what what are your thoughts on, like I said, this matchup and and how some of it plays out and what the Bucks need to do. My guess is you're probably going to have to put up at least 120 against this Indiana team. The good news is they're a bottom five defense. True. Right? Well, I mean, their defense. I'm sorry, they might be a smidge outside. Last time I checked, they were like 24th. In, 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 they're like the 24th ranked defense, so it shouldn't be hard for us to come by buckets. And remember, we we we. We were balling with Indiana earlier this year. Now, that was under Adrian Griffin when our offense was at a historic pace, too. So I think that's that's important. But um, I I still think if you want to slow down Indiana, Pat Beverly, look, we need you to we need you to lock down Halliburton. Let's slow him down. Let's go. That's a big, well, I was gonna say, it's a big ass. How, 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 how much was 6'7"? I thought he was like 6'6". Six, 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 is he that big? Yeah. Hey, yo. Is he? I'm, 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 I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check on how how big. You know, like, like right. I mean, uh, Pat Beverly Crowder. We need we need we need to get some of our guys on the perimeter on Halliburton. We need to six five, six in, five, and, six we, five. and we need. Okay, so if he's listening, six five. How tall? Is he? Six three. Oh no, he's not six three. Come on, six four. Let's not let's not see let's not yeah, front like you don't be padding stats on NBA well, roster. Yeah, but he, he he is a very large tall point guard. He's oh, he's God. tall. Hey yo, he 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 looks hey. six five. He he yeah. he looks six five. I, I can see him trying to trying to say, hey, don't make me look as tall as I am because I'm you know I don't want. I, he he looks it's almost like Giannis. Giannis always lives at six eleven. I think we all know he's a seven footer. But they don't. They never list Giannis seven feet. I don't know why. But go ahead. Now, I, now I don't think there's a single player on that team defensively that can hold Giannis. I, I, I don't think so. I think Giannis no. gonna go absolutely crazy. And remember, Giannis put up that fifty piece against him. Didn't he put up a triple? Did he put up triple he double against like, Indiana? Didn't he put up like sixty? Didn't he? Yeah, he, he put up like sixty four. Yeah, he put up his, his career high. Yeah, that's and what they I thought. The game was, ball. <laughs> but then right. the first time he put up like fifty. Yeah, he did. Right. Without, without, Dame, without, Dame. without Dame in a loss. Yes. Without Dame, right? So Giannis is going to go. Giannis needs to go. Out. Giannis got to do what he what he does. Our team defensively, we we've, we've got to get some stops. We got to slow them down because this Indiana team, while they're a bottom four defense, I believe they're a top three offense. I think that's right. Something something around there as well. And yeah, but but more important to me, the way I see it with Indiana. It's not about slowing them down as much as it's about us not beating ourselves. The Bucks playing up to their potential. The shooters hitting shots, guys getting open, creating space, and doing everything that this team is supposed to do. Figuring out the pick and roll, the pick and pop. I mean, and I don't know if that's too much for for Doc Rivers to try to do and, and throw that all into this series. But this team has all the potential in the world to beat this this uh, this Pacers team. There's no question about that. I don't think we're overmatched at all. In fact, I think we have the advantage over the Pacers from a practical perspective, or, or from a from a um, high level we would have the advantage now when you drill down and say well listen this bucks team is kind of real and right lost one three out of the last 10 games they've lost to some of the worst teams in the nba they've lost in some of the worst fashions they have zero momentum at this point Giannis is injured we don't know if he's going to be fully healthy we're not even sure half the guys want to be out there we got some mental lapses a little bit too frequently this late in the season then you say eh, all right yeah this 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 might be a bit more of a battle than we'd expect so for me, I think you have to do a combination of both, Trey, when you talk about playing fast and then slowing them down. I think you have to uh, slow them down, but be able to get out and transition as much as you can because I think they'll be very vulnerable in transition. Um, and you don't want to let them score at the clip that they do. So I think that's where playing slow comes in, into play. But having Giannis would just be incredible for the first game. I mean, that would be – it would be great to just – give our give them our best shot in game one game two at home um i think that's where you also have another advantage we play well at home and you can really grip the series um in those first <laughs> stop in those first two games and yeah I'm, I'm i'm not as concerned as i think a lot of people are about the pace i actually want this matchup because of the beef during the season i want i want us to big brother them because they're look we have the better personnel we can beat them it's just Will we give that effort? And I think 
where that comes in, you don't need any external motivation because they've already done so much talking, getting on podcasts or uh, talking trash during the games, getting ejected, stuff like that. Um, and they've really tried to – I mean, even though they, they, they beat you uh, four games, I, they, they're really trying to, to get under your skin. And I think you're just the more mature team. And so I think that's where you also have an advantage. So I think, like you said, Trey, both – slow them down and speed it up when you need to, I think that would be uh, the best formula for taking care of the Pacers. Yeah, speaking of, you know, speaking of talking, um, remember Malik Beasley in January talked about the Pacers and said, I know we're going to play them in the playoffs, and boy, it's not going to be pretty for them. Uh, remember when he sat down and said that with uh, Chris Haynes, I believe it was? He did say that, yeah. Um, so again, That's when he was at his peak, too, so – Again, this is gonna be, this is gonna be a fun series, and again, what it, I, I'm sure there's gonna be more in a couple. Uh, I don't wanna say brawls, but I'm sure gonna be some dust ups that, that take place with Bobby and and you know those guys. I, I don't know, man. I, I think that I think you guys are are are, are right. I think the Bucks are gonna have to be much more physical than um, than Indiana. I think Brook Lopez is gonna have to be as physical as we've ever seen him within. I don't know if he played 15, 20 minutes, whatever it is. Um, I think that Damian Lillard is going to have to be. At the least, he's going to have to be the third best player on the floor to win this series. He's got to be the third best player on the floor. Giannis got to be the best, and then maybe you can get by with Therese Hall Tyrese Halliburton in there, but Dame's got to be the third best player on the floor um, coming in. And, again, he, he's – I mean, I'm just looking there at, at their roster and what they do, and then I look at the second unit coming in. Like, do the Bucs even have an answer for their second unit when TJ McConnell comes in the game? Because I've seen TJ McConnell kill the Bucs, right? Um, I, again, I think this is a series where Doc Rivers isn't going to be able to play around. I don't think you can – I think they've, they've got to play 43, 44. Like, Dame's got to literally – you got to run the wheels off of these guys to get out of the first round. And it's going to be tough. I think it's going to be a, a hard-fought first round. I think it can happen, um, obviously. But these guys are, are going to – you know, and that's kind of hoping upon hope here – these guys have to play a brand of basketball that they have not played in a in a long time. And I will say, too, Indiana's not going to be afraid of them. Like, you're not going to have – I think a lot of times teams, especially veteran-led teams, championship-level teams like the Bucks, they would hold this advantage over a team like Indiana, scrappy, young, hungry, just getting – because it's like, yeah, we the top dogs. Nobody will be afraid to come into your building and play you. You are going to have to beat the hell out of them to make them afraid to play. You are going to have to be more physical and out hustle and outwork them. And that's what that I guess is probably my biggest scare in the series is that Indiana is going to come out as the more hungry team, and maybe even more so than individual performances and Doc Rivers adjustments and game plans is like who's going to win the effort game. Who is going to be the team that look that because Doc Rivers can't teach you diving on the floor for loose balls? I know Pat Conte is going. I mean, I know Pat Beverly's going to do that kind of stuff. Is Chris Milton going to do that? Is Brooke Lopez going to do that? Because again, if you look at the Indiana Pacers roster, all those guys are going after balls. 